energy tokens, blockchain, tokenization, energy NFTs. So, so if you start to look at the problem that we're trying to solve here, so essentially, if you were just looking at oil and gas, and obviously with energy tokens, we're focused on not only oil and gas, and uh, renewable energy, nuclear, um, mining, all different types of energy assets itself. But the problem is that the way that we have produced energy and developed energy infrastructure, the resources behind, you know, drilling for oil, access oil, is completely revolutionized over the last hundred years. The thing that hasn't changed is the way the energy assets have been acquired, held, and transferred. So if you acquire an interest in an oil producing asset, then essentially you'll have this interest in this asset that is, um, you know, it, it's not changed over that time period. So it, it looking a bit like uh, in terms of percentages and how this is actually broken down, if you look at uh, an oil project itself and how it's structured, there's the landowner or farmer receives anywhere between 12 to 25 percent of the production, depending on each state. The, the operator and energy company, they normally retain a controlling interest in this. The, the corporate management, the mutual fund, pension funds, IRAs behind it, and um, institutional investors, individual investors. And these are the people who actually own part of an energy project right now. I think what's happening is that it's very niche in order to actually acquire interest in these projects. It's uh, You have to be in the industry sector, normally an accredited investor for being an individual, and you need to have a certain amount of money to be able to actually invest. So what are the problems with energy producing assets? Well, it's difficult to sell and buy fractional interests. Direct investments are made through private negotiated transactions. Non-industry investors have limited access to these investments, limited liquidity opportunities by holders for non-controlling interest prior to the sale of the entire asset. And the legal convenience mechanism is antiquated through files and local land registries, etc. So essentially, as we looked at the first slide, the way we have transferred and held interest in energy assets haven't changed over the last hundred years. If you acquire an interest, it has to be filed in a local courthouse. The information's held there. You know, and if you wanted to sell this investment, so right now the problem is that if you acquire an interest into, say, an oil asset, it's going to give you distributions over a 25 year period. Now, as it, it's like a depletion curve, so as they get the, you know, the first three years in oil production in a producing asset is at peak production, and then it starts to tail off there as well. But that tail can go for 25 years as well as been producing for 70 years. So for people out there, you've got this asset that's providing you distributions, but the problem really is if you ever wanted to sell that asset, it is very difficult for you to sell it. It's like, who do you actually sell it to? And then normally it's someone else in the project. You never get what the valuation is normally worth. And again, if you think about it, unless you're involved in this specific sector and have the money involved to invest, you know, essentially you cannot invest in oil producing assets because you don't have the connections or you don't have the money to invest in that. And then how do you find out about these opportunities? So what is our solution? So we're tokenizing energy assets on the blockchain. So it's operating on a permission blockchain. We take all the data, we analyze the data in terms of understanding what the value of the project is and using artificial intelligence. So really these three key points are behind the platform itself. And that allows us to tokenize energy assets. And uh, once we tokenize the energy assets or create an energy NFT. So right now, if you think about the life cycle of an oil project, uh, you own a non-operated interest in this project. So you're not the operator, you've got on a small uh, percentage. You know, right now you're stuck in this life cycle of the project for 25 years unless the operator sells it. You know, under our system, uh, it's under the um, rule 144 holding period, within 12 months, you'll be able to sell your investment. 
through tokens or energy NFTs. So the difference really being is you've taken it from 25 years to one year, but really what they're looking at in terms of this ability to come through is that this will be cut down to 90 days and eventually 30 days. So that original investment will be a credit investor, but once these tokens are on ATS, it opens up the market for non-accredited investors. So this is where it really democratizes the energy investment opportunity for people to invest in the projects themselves. It creates liquidity for Ill illiquid uh, energy investments. And what it will do is it facilitates access to new capital for energy development projects. So this is actually the tokenization process itself. So just to run through that, you know, we are doing it with an oil and gas asset, but you can really do it with any renewable energy assets. We've acquired that wind lease up in Wyoming. Uh, we're working in a small solar lease and another wind lease just now as well. And we're looking for long-term leases whereby we'll create these tokens for the energy that's produced above the, uh, the ground. So the first thing you do is you take the energy asset. This information is then analyzed. So we're working with clearing houses, we're working with other people to help analyze this. And the, the platform itself will provide this data and information available. So we'll provide financial information, We'll provide um, seismic surveys on these wells. We'll provide all sorts of data. In the same way they have to do this for any sort of capital raise right now, this information is going to be available. People will be able to know how much that asset's potentially worth. So this information will then be recorded on the blockchain. So, you know, we're using a, a, a Amazon blockchain service. So it's AWS, but then you can hash this information on the blockchain. So it's verifiable. People can always check it. But really, the, the area you've got to look at is this SPV, special purpose vehicle. This is what gets tokenized. This is a bit like why we're calling them energy NFTs. And this is the bit that the token holders will get. So they'll get financial statements, tax reporting, and then the distributions. And the, it'll either be cash distributions or it will be um, distributions in cryptocurrency. So we are looking to use the company Coinbase to be our escrow agent for the, the crypto side of the business. So if we get investment into any of these tokens in either Bitcoin or Ethereum, it won't be us that's handling this. So this will be what Coinbase will be providing. But once it's actually tokenized, the equity ownership of each asset is converted into an SPV. So this is what the SPV is, and it's actually the SPV that gets tokenized, and this is where the, the end investor actually owns the tokens. These tokens are going to be available for trading on an alternative trading system, and this will be an SEC-regulated ATS. They're looking for the ATSs to come online, you know, end of Q2, Q3 this year. So it's not that far away from this being fully operational in terms of this ability to sell the tokens. Yes, we can create the tokens now for the projects and you can have the tokens in your MetaMask wallet, but really what the, the real liquidity comes is when the ATS comes online. And what it really does is it results this end-to-end -end system which facilitates the purchase and sale of direct interests in energy producing assets via token transfer. And this is gonna to comply to US security and banking laws. So, but it really look, we're looking at the future, a great picture of Dave Rogers there. The goal of the company was always to be involved in renewable energy. We always wanted to be involved in the transition in energy. I just think COVID sped things up for so many people out there. If you look at renewable energy, it's difficult to invest in an oil asset. It's even more difficult to invest in a wind farm or a solar farm right now. It's like, how do you own a piece of a solar farm or a wind farm that provides you distributions. So what energy tokens is going to tokenize both oil projects, renewable energy projects, and they're going to be operational side by side on an energy trading platform. So this means that as people get distributions in oil projects, what they're going to be able to do is by unlocking the liquidity in the oil projects and providing investors distributions through the energy tokens platform, essentially what we're doing is creating a pathway to speed up the transition in energy. And I think this is what is key. This is why I believe the blockchain will be one of the key factors in allowing us to speed up this transition in energy. And it's really by unlocking billions of dollars worth of capital tied into oil projects and then creating mechanisms for these 
oil operators or people involved in funding these oil projects to now direct that investment into renewable energy projects. I think it allows the investor as well as a method, method to diversify their portfolio. So they're not just going to be in oil and gas, they'll be able to have a certain amount of the investment in renewable energy. And then by us creating these in tokens rather than percentages, uh, what it does do is it opens up the market space to your sort of average Joe, if we talk about Joe Biden, um, to, to invest in renewable energy projects. So it gives this opportunity for anyone who's interested in investing. But really, this is a bit more in terms of the company history from Zion. Energy Tokens was established by Zion Energy in co collaboration. So it just wasn't us. It was leading blockchain and data analysis system, tokenization experts, regulatory and trading specialists to develop the energy trading platform itself, which we've now got operational as energytokens.io. You know, presently, we're the largest owner of energy tokens. So anyone that has shares in Zion Energy, or has bought in with Zion Coin, you own a piece of this platform. And the way our investment is going to increase is as we bring on the new tokens and projects, Zion Energy through the energy trading platform will own a percentage of every single project through tokens going forward. So the bigger the projects we get on, the more projects we get on, the more diversified the projects we bring on there the more opportunities that it's going to be with Zion Energy itself in terms of the growth of the company. You know, Zion Energy and how we got into this, we own various interests in oil assets throughout the United States. You know, and initially it was 2016, we set the company up. 2017, 18, we started to get acquired interest into various projects. And it's really recently we acquired our wind energy lease. So that was us moving into renewable energy, which was exciting for the company. And then the other thing that we're looking to do is to, to continue to acquire interest in project and we become a fund of interest. So we acquired interest into 42 producing wells in Texas. And these are fractional interests. And what that does, it provides a good, um, you know, sounding board and going forward, we can acquire directly into producing assets. So if people say to us, will this project work? Well, it's actually working already. There's Zion coin ownership into multiple projects. And these are from mature producing assets to essentially drilling opportunities, to a wind farm, to mineral rights. You know, we've got multiple investments uh, across the company, but in going forward, the real growth is going to come from the energy tokens uh, trading platform, because this is when we will be able to create these energy NFTs and bring people on board. And then every single one that comes on board the website, we'll have an ownership of 